Hey YouTube, today I'm going to be doing my first ever Q&A session. So yeah, um, without further ado, let's start. Alright, so that little noise was my phone. Lightwell asked, you got a Xbox profile. Um, I don't have an Xbox profile, actually. Um, I do play video games, but, um... I have a PlayStation 3, and I also have been playing my Sega Classic Genesis. Um, so, um, obviously the Sega Genesis, the classic Sega Genesis, does not save. So I can't, I couldn't even have a profile on that. And, um, I don't have, um, a PlayStation, um, profile either. And I also don't have an Xbox. Um, to be honest, I pretty much just like playing the game. But if I'm playing, like, if I do start playing Fortnite, people, like, some of my friends have been asking me to do that at, at my school. Um, some, they've, I've, we've been talking about Fortnite because I'm not sure what it is. And I've, I always hear them talking about it. So I just ask them what it is. But, for now, I don't have an Xbox profile, but, um, maybe in the future I'll get a profile for my, um, for my, uh, PlayStation, but, and, and even I might get an Xbox, but I'm not sure. Okay. Carol Garrett asked, I am a huge Beatles fan. What is your favorite Beatles album, and who is your favorite Beatle? Okay. For any of you who do not know, I am an absolute fan of the Beatles. Um, my favorite Beatle is John Lennon, and my favorite Beatles album is probably, um, one of their earlier albums. Like, I like Sgt. Pepper, and I don't really like Let It Be, the album. I like, I like some of the songs on Let, on Let It Be. I love Get Back, but, um... I like come together, but um, for to be honest, it it just most some of the songs on there I don't even know, and I um really um I never really have liked Let It Be album, but um for my favorite Beatles album, probably Sergeant um Pepper um, I, but I'm not sure. It's hard to choose, you know. Catherine Garrett asked, in your opinion, who is the greatest bassist in rock history? Um, I like a lot of f different bassists. I like Dee Dee Ramone from the Ramones. I like Chris Novoselic from Nirvana. Um, Nate Mandel from Sunny Day Real, Real Estate. Um, and Foo Fighters, obviously. For any of you who do not know, he was in this um, emo, hardcore emo I think I don't call them emo but um he was in this band with um actually the former drummer of Foo Fighters also um and Jeremy Inick and uh this other guy which I can't remember the name um I also like um what's his name oh Joe Lally Joe Lally from Fugazi he he's awesome as well um I also like, um, hmm, I also like, uh, Rex Brown from, I also like Rex Brown from Pantera, sorry about that camera issue, um, no, the, um, microphone issue, um, I like a lot of bassists, maybe I'll do a video on what, uh, what my favorite bassists are, um, Cause it's really hard to choose. Maybe Joe Lally or Chris Novoselic. I guess. Um. Okay. Disney Toy Productions asked, "What's your favorite song? If you could be any musician, who would you be? What's your favorite guitar that you own? Do you have any plans for a second channel? My favorite song is Lithium by Nirvana." And if I could be any musician, I guess I would be John Lennon, George Harrison, probably Kurt Cobain, maybe. 
or, or even Jerry Cantwell, um, from Alice in Chains. Um, what's my favorite guitar that I own? I have two. I have my, my Fender Stratocaster is my favorite, and my Epiphone ES339 is my favorite as well. So I have two favorite guitars. Do I have any plans for a second channel? Not at the moment. Maybe I'll start a second channel someday. I'm not sure. Like, um... But I'm not... I really don't think I will. I, I probably... Maybe I will for... Um... But I have honestly no idea. Maybe I should do a separate audio engineering channel because I do some audio mixing now. I like to do audio now. Um... Okay. That's, um... Carol Gild also asked another question. Um, who's your favorite country western performer? Um, I guess Johnny Cash. I, I don't listen to much country. Well, well, I like, I like like only country I really have listened to is like Glenn Campbell and Johnny Cash. Well, I'm not sure if Glenn Campbell would be called country. Um, but um. I'm not sure who my th I think Johnny Cash and Glenn Campbell because I like their music. Um, I don't really listen to like country music today, like the new age country music. Like, I like some of like I like um some of Cheryl Crow's um time, and I liked her in the Tuesday Night Music Club. Um, and uh. You know, I, it's, and it's, I mean, you know, Tuesday Night Music Club, it's pretty short-lived, like, what ha what happened, like, to someone who inspired their, um, song, Leave in Las Vegas, um, did something he shouldn't have, um, and later, the guitarist, I believe, Kevin, um, Kevin, uh, some his name's Kevin. I can't remember. He died not long after this. Um, and pretty much um, another guy did not um talk to Shell Crow again. And um, Bill Botrell actually um, who was also in the club um, became her manager, producer. Um, but um, I I know I'm getting a little off topic actually now, but. Just, um, okay, but Johnny Cash, I like him, um, and, uh, Glenn Campbell, and, um, and also Cheryl Crow's Tuesday Night Music Club, um, okay, so, yeah, that was Carol Garrett's question, um, um, now to find some other questions, okay, Right. Where are you from, and what made you decide to learn guitar? I am from the United States, and um, I wanted to learn guitar because um, I liked Nirvana, and I wanted to um. So I liked Nirvana, and I um, and I still do, and uh, I liked a lot of grunge, and I realized. I've, I always had, I'd had some guitars before, um, and I never really played them properly, you know, <laughs> um, but, um, but I actually, um, then, uh, I, uh, sorry about that camera, I meant microphone problem again, so I wanted to learn guitar because, um, I liked Nirvana and Pearl Jam, Soundgarden, um, and, uh, I always had, I had always had some guitars, and I never really, um, played them properly, so, I just picked up my, um, Squire, my old Squire, and I, um, I learned, um, Smells Like Teen Spirit, the first few chords of the song, and, um yeah, that's pretty much what started it all. 
Okay, so yeah, those those are game forty two arts questions. Stephen Hembry asked, "Who's your favorite guitarist, and who do you think is or was the goat?" Um, the goat. Um, oh, by the way, um, goat means greatest of all time. I had to ask Stephen, or like what it meant before I could even answer it. Um, thank you. And R.P. Vinnie Paul. Dave Gould once said that V.P. Vinnie Paul was the best drummer he had ever seen. Really sad. Yes, agreed. Um, like they buried, they pay, they buried Vinnie Paul Sunday, and um, and um, for any of you who do not know, um, Vinnie Paul was the drummer of Pantera. He died last Friday of a major heart attack in his sleep at Las in Las Vegas. So. Really sad. Um, I love Pantera, as I just said, um, a little while ago. So it was pretty sad for me to read that he had passed away. Yeah. Um, my favorite guitarist is Kurt Cobain. Um, or Dimebag Dale from Pantera. Um, I they I they're pretty much my two favorite guitarists. Like, I like a lot of other guitarists. Um, but those two. Oh, Greg Sage from the Wipers are probably, um, f- Greg Sage from the wipe the punk band the Wipers is an amazing guitarist as well, and also uh, it's like and Dave Grohl and Pat Smear are some great guitarists as well. Um, when Dave Grohl isn't, he is he still is in Foo Fighters and. Um, Chris Shiflet from Foo Fighters is also good. Um, great. I meant, um, yeah. Um, and who is the goat greatest of all time? Uh, huh. No. Um. Um, Stephen, I don't know if you mean like music-wise or um, like otherwise than music. But um, for the greatest of all time, I'm just gonna go with like in music. Uh the greatest of all time was um uh ooh, what there's and also same like uh, um same for like what I just said, like greatest of all time I guess would be Cucobain, Dimebag, Dale uh, what I just said, um and uh it Dimebag Dale is one of the go- is was one of the greatest guitarists of all time. Well, he is, although he's no longer with us. But um, I just um, person- it's really hard to say who the goat is. Um, like um, you know, pr- I guess it's pretty much the same for who's the greatest, who's my favorite guitarist. I have they're pretty much well. I guess the greatest of all time would be either Dimebag or, um, Dimebag Dale or, um, Kirk Cobain, I guess. Um, I'm not sure because it's really hard to choose who the goat is. Um, so yeah, um, last question. Rob the Meat Manifesto, um, please check out all of, um, please check out the channels that I've mentioned, um, like James forty James forty two well Stephen Hembury and um Rob the Meat Manifesto. Um I know James forty two art has a good Instagram. Um so um yeah, um it's just called James Art forty two, so if you have an Instagram I guess you should check it out. Well you should. Um Stephen is a good guitarist too, so I think you should Please and also Light Row, who I just I mentioned, um, is a good is a great um has a great channel mostly about gaming, but he also mo- he sometimes picks up the guitar. Um, so check out all those channels and you sh- and I would like if you would give them some love because they're amazing. Okay. Why would the Meat Manifesto asked? Where's your face? Um. I'm not going to show my face just yet. I am going to really soon, though. So, sometime I am going to do it really soon. It's 
definitely gonna be really soon. I just never got around to doing it. Um. So um yeah. That's all the questions. Um. So thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Take care.